Hi, today we're going to be looking at pad mode, keyboard, chords and step. Let's go straight into it. You can locate these buttons at the top of the 16 grid, so pad mode, keyboard, chords and step. So let's have an in-depth look at the pad mode. First of all, we're going to load up a kit. Just hit load there, so you can see we've got that. And as you may have seen on previous videos, I just load up a group to start off with because it's easier. And I'm just going to click, highlight and delete. So we have this. If we click pad mode again, you'll notice that each name of each instrument comes up. So we've got the sub, the bolt, the clap, uh, fractal, hybrid, etc. To get used to these, we're going to be looking at choke mode and the slave and master for that. At the link mode and the slave and master for that. And if you go over, you've got your velocity as well. That is your fixed velocity if you press this button next to pad, which means it doesn't matter what I do, it's always going to be seeing the velocity. So if I turn that right down, you can see that. So let's bring that back up to 100. And if you have it off, you can go. So depending on how hard you press the pad. But let's have a look at choke mode and link mode. Well, let me explain link mode first so you can understand what choke does. So if I wanted, I've got this hi-hat here. Now, if I want to link that with this pad, meaning every time I play the bass drum, the hi-hat plays, well, all I have to do is put it into a group. So if I press the bass drum there, and I put it into group one, and I press the hi-hat here, I can put it also into group one. So if I press one of these pads, then it's going to play both. Now, the only issue with that is if, for instance, I want to play some more hi-hats on top, I'm not going to be able to. So we can want this one to be master and this one to be slave. Then that way, when I press the bass drum, the hi-hat plays. But if I press the hi-hat, it means it doesn't. So I can go... Okay, so you've got your hi-hat throughout, but you don't need to um, have the bass drum throughout when you press the hi-hat. That is really useful when you see people finger drum um, so they can't just keep pressing like this all the time. They'll assign it to different pads. So if we go to have a look at choke mode, if I want to play this, and every time I then play this, I want that to stop, just do the same thing. Put it in group one, put that in group one, and if I play this, you can hear it cut off. So this is the noise, okay? And then you can go, it cuts it off. So that's really good if you're playing chords um, and long notes as well, if you want to cut sounds off, simple as that. So that is the pad mode. Now let's take a look at keyboard mode. First of all, you press the pad we want, and that's gonna be the sub, and we put it into keyboard mode. Now this means that if you see here, it's on C3. You'll see that it's C3, C sharp three, D3, D sharp three, etc., etc. So it goes like this. Now this means you can make a different sub. But it also means you can make some music with it. Okay, and we've got octave minus and plus up here. So if we press minus, we go lower. Okay, really low, or you can go up higher. Okay, so we get this to get back to C3. And we've also got semitones. Okay, we can go down a semitone. So it was on C3 is your bottom note. And if you go down a semitone, you've got B because B is before C on the scale. Okay, so let's put that there. Then what we've got is we've got the scale as chromatic, major, minor, harmonic, minor, etc., etc., etc. It's um there's a lot to choose from. So this one goes C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G, blah 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 blah. But if you go to major there's no sharps at all, it's just whole notes. So, so if you notice, these three are brightly lit. 
and they are the root notes. So that's C, C, C. If I change that back to chromatic, there's C and C because there's sharps in the middle. Then if I go to minor, it's C, D, E flat, F. And then we've got harmonic minor. Subtle changes, major pentatonic. So you've got four root notes there. It's best to have a play with this and see what you like. Um, this one's Gypsy. And you can have a, a lot of fun. Over to the right, you'll see it's fixed velocity again. So I don't have that on anyway, so that's that. So that's your keyboard mode. So chords is similar to keyboard mode by looks, but it actually means if I press this button here, you'll see three lit light up. So that one, that one, and that one. And that's because C chord is made up of C, E, and G. So if I press E, it's made up of G sharp and B. You could actually teach yourself how to make chords um, just by watching the, the lit up buttons. Again, we've got the octaves plus and minus, the semitones plus and minus, scale. Now this chord, we've got harmonizer, which is what this on, and we've got chord set. On here, you've got your majors, and if you turn them, you've got your C, E minor, F, G. And if you turn it, you can notice that would change to C, B, C, A, C, G, C sus 4, etc., etc. So you get to choose what one you want. So I'm going to leave minor major, and I leave minor harmonizer. So that is your chord section. Lastly, we have steps. Now what we're going to do is press your pad mode, select your bass drum, turn it into step mode, and we want pattern to be two bars. Okay, and that's your two bars. Then you've got a pattern there, pattern there, pattern there, pattern there, and you can just keep adding them. So let's just press play and record, wait for it to come around. So there's your one, two, and you can just go I can change the length. And what I can do on pad mode is I've got this one highlighted in um, white. That means that's the last one I pressed. Okay. What I could actually do is arrow over to the first one and change the position, the pitch, the velocity, and the length. So I can change the position, change there. What I really like about this is it will snap to the um, beat, but if you wanted to move it slightly, you could actually hold shift and move it gradually. Now, why would you do that? If you quantize these, or you don't get them quite right, um, then they're gonna always snap to the beat. So if I change that one, and then I change this one, uh, let's go over here and then change this one when it's slap bang in the middle it's going to start change the sound so if you fancy that sort of thing now the good thing is is if i move this one back it actually will snap back to the beat you can go snap snap and snap Alternatively, if you were if you had moved it out like this, you can just turn it off and hit um, the pad again, and you'll be able to get back to the first beat. Then we've got the pitch. So if we select this one, so we've got this one selected here. So that's like in your keyboard mode. If I select over here. Very handy for if, um, for instance, you've put in a piano piece and you've got one note wrong and you're, not, you're miles away from the keyboard. So you can use this for everything. Okay, so I can just put that back. Shift undo, shift undo. What I did there was shift pad one. So say for instance, that's all I want for pattern one. If I then press pattern two, and again, because I put it in group mode, I'm just gonna delete all these. So in pattern two, here I want it as just 
one. Now I can quickly uh, put it back on pad mode and just run these down. I've got a bit of a velocity problem there. So it's this one here. I can either do that or I can, if, it, if I have done it quietly, I can actually press this and you can see it go up. And then what I want to do, I want some hi-hats. So I can just press play. And it's really nice because you can make this sound more realistic. So if I press um, over here and I want that one to be quieter. And then I want to make this one quieter as well. To get a bit of accent. Now we want to go to pattern three. But I, what I want to do is I'm going to duplicate two and put it on three. That means if I now go over to three, so you've got pattern one, pattern two, they are exactly the same. So now what I'm going to do with three is I'm going to add the snare drum. So let's go back to pad mode. Let's go back to step. See, everything's still in there. Saves you putting it in again. That one was a bit weak. Okay, so I'm going to put this over, change the velocity. So what this means is while you're playing it, you can make up your patterns. So if you've got Pattern one, and you can keep building and building that up. We haven't looked at length, so let's get something with um, some notes in now, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to B. We're going to press the browser and we're going to load up something exactly the same. Um, but this time I'm going to click uh, sounds. So let's go with adrenaline. And we've got it in keyboard mode so you can hear it. Now we're not going to put it in step mode. Okay, we're actually going to play something and I want it in pattern um, three. So if I press that, we've got that pattern there. So I'm going to press this in group B. Okay, and I'm going to press pattern one. And I'm going to press record. And we're going to play the last pattern on A. So we've got pattern three, which has got the snare drum as well. Okay, go over to pattern, uh, sorry, B. Actually, you want to change that to one of it, make it higher. So undo. Okay, keyboard mode. Go up an octave. So first of all, I'm going to make it quieter. So I'm going to go into step mode. Select this one, which is the end one, and change the velocity. longer so I select which one I want and I can just make that length again hold shift so 
if I want to make them all like that, it's 30. Um, to me is a lot nicer. So that is a quick look at your pad mode, your keyboard mode, your chords and your step. Also we had a quick look at patterns and the scenes and the buttons on there. If you've got any questions please feel free to make a comment on the bottom and I will see you next time with another beginner's guide to the Machina Mark III.